How is it going everybody? My name is Valerie. Welcome to the Motopress YouTube channel. In today's video we are going to be taking a look at the advanced Google Maps Elementor widget by Stratum. We'll discuss its key benefits and you'll learn how to add and customize the widget on your website. This map Elementor widget is perfect for showcasing your business address or addresses on an interactive Google Map on any page. Sure, the free version of Elementor provides you with the basic Google Maps widget. But if you want more customization options, the Advanced Maps widget takes center stage. Either free or pro version of Stratum gives you access to way more tools integrated from the official Google Maps services. The free version of the plugin can be found and downloaded on wordpress.org or installed from your dashboard. Alternatively, feel free to visit the Motopress official website and compare Stratum Pro versus Lite versions and choose your plan. In this tutorial, I'll be using Stratum Pro to demonstrate the widget in all its splendor. All you need to get started is to obtain your Google Maps API key. There is a useful guide on how to create, restrict, and use your API key for Google Maps platform. The relevant link to it will be in the description box down below. To use the API key associated with your project on your Elementor WordPress site, go to the WordPress dashboard, make sure you've installed and activated Stratum. From the Stratum menu on the left-hand side of the dashboard, select Settings. API. Find the Google Maps API key field and insert your key. Done. Now open the page you want to add the Google Map to. Search for the Advanced Google Maps Elementor widget and drag it here. Let go when you see the blue line is displayed. Once it is dragged into its place, you will see on your left the added advanced Google Maps area. Beginning with the content tab and its general settings, the first thing I want to do is to decide on the map type. Whether your map will put on you a single pin or multiple ones. For now, I'll opt for the single marker type just to give you the idea how to work with it. Uh, well, we want to get to it straight away. The map marker settings allow you to add location pins to your Google Map element. It's easy to customize their appearance too. If one pin is enough for your site, then you just need to update the information here. And if you decide to go for multiple marker type, you'll need to click the Add New Marker button and uh, add as many markers as you actually require. So, turning to my single marker settings. First, I'm entering its title. The title will be visible by hovering the mouse over the pin. Then, it is the address type storing submit the coordinates. To get the coordinates of a place, you may use the latitude and longitude finder tool or by right-clicking the place or area on the Google map. So, uh, insert the needed values one by one. Then I want to enter the address. Great! We've done it. You can also display an info window when clicked or on an ongoing basis. For this, fill in the content field and toggle on for your info window to be always viewed by default or toggle off to display a pop-up window on button click above the map at a given location. As you see, the info window has a content area and a tapered stamp. The tip of the stamp is attached to a location we specified in the settings. Furthermore, it's possible to set the width of the window. The default value is set to 250. 
you can make it wider or narrower to your liking. On top of that, you have the opportunity to change the default marker to something else. This is handy if you want to display your company logo or some other icon on the map. So, open by default and custom icon features are available only for Pro version users. Now I suggest selecting the preferable way users will interact with your Google Map. When a user scrolls a page that contains a map, the scrolling action can unintentionally cause the map to zoom. This behavior can be controlled using the Prevent Zoom on Page Scroll option. This option allows the user to scroll the page normally without zooming or panning the map. Users can zoom the map only by clicking the Zoom controls. They can also zoom and pan by using two finger movements on the map for touchscreen devices. Otherwise, choose whether to enable zooming and panning or completely disable them. You can also set up a default zoom level. Google Maps has an integer zoom level, which is the resolution of the current view. Zoom levels are between 1, when the entire world can be seen on one map, and 22, center latitude and longitude. These parameters help all the location pins to be within sight of the users, especially if the objects uh, are situated in different cities or even countries. For example, your markers can be within one city. Uh, that's why you'll need to determine the city's latitude and longitude, uh, paste them here, and all of your pins will be right in the center of the map, in the most prominent position. I'll do the same. Uh, my, uh, my object is situated on one of the London streets, uh, so I put London's coordinates here. Let's move on to the map controls. There are four toggle switchers uh, for on and off options under the map controls menu. Google Maps Street View feature gives you a street level view of an area, showing you much more detail than you can see from aerial views. Using Street View, you can get more customers through the door and significantly improve your user experience and make it easier for customers to find you. The bottom right, click Pegman, then drag Pegman to the area you want to explore. By turning the map type toggle on, you will allow users to choose between the physical map based on the terrain information and satellite views in the top left corner of the map. The zoom control displays plus and minus buttons for changing the zoom level of the map. The full screen control offers the option to open the map in full screen mode. Remember that the default behavior is that all the map interaction controls disappear if the map is viewed on small devices. Carrying on with map styles, you can use one of the theme sources to style your map. Map styling allows colors on the map to be changed and items to be hidden. Apart from a Google standard, you can opt for Snazzy. Snazzy is also a repository of different color schemes for Google Maps. Besides, with a professional version, you're free to apply CSS styles. Right now, let's head over to the Styles tab, where you can configure the default map height. Using the Advanced Elementor styling settings, uh, it is easy to apply more motion effects, change background, adjust the spacing, and configure other common styling Elementor settings. That's pretty much it. If you want to create a more tailored look for Google Maps on WordPress, this Google Maps widget for Elementor can be your ideal solution. Feel free to get the Advanced Google Maps Elementor widget along with other awesome ones by downloading Stratum's free version 
or reach the beyond advanced level in design customization with Stratum Pro. The ball is in your court. You can also view designs created with our Google Maps widget on our Stratum demo page. Please check it out. Additionally, it will be useful to know that if you are also working with the Gutenberg WordPress block editor, make sure to check out GetRid, our huge collection of free Gutenberg blocks. We nailed it, guys. We hope this tutorial was useful for you, and if you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. For more video tutorials, click the subscribe button and tap that bell to be notified when new videos are released. If you need any assistance, feel free to drop us a comment below. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.